Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be a new project pan. It's called Panning Games. It was created by Amber from the Fantastic Ladies. This is 24 items. And this is based on the Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. And you chose 24 items based on the 24 tributes in the Hunger Games. I've never seen the movies. I've only read the trilogy. I loved the first book so much. I tried to find the next book in the series and my library, it was on a wait list. So I went and bought the whole trilogy from Barnes and Nobles and read it in three days. This project is a year long project. It runs from August 1st of 2018 through August 1st of 2019. So I tried to pick items that were going to take me longer. There are some gimme-ish items, items that I know I will be able to finish. Regardless of how long it takes, I know they'll be done. I have two full-size shower gels in this project, both from Bath and Body Works. This is the Frosted Snow Blossom. And this one is the Bonjour Paris from Givenchy. They're very irresistible. This one doesn't have a lot left in it, so this one will definitely, there we go, be gone in a year. Some of these items, some of these items, all of these items were random. I went to random.org and I looked at my inventory and how many I had and I would roll to find out what number and then I would count down. So that's how I got all of my products. Let's see, I have three mini lotions. This one is the Killer Queen by Katy Perry Royal Body Lotion. Jergens Crema Deep Conditioning Oatmeal Body Cream. And Bath and Body Works Rio Rumberry. So they're all little ones so they'll actually you know they'll be gone but they're products and categories that I want to make my numbers lower in let's see from Carmex a strawberry lip balm I love Carmex and I love lip balm so let's see the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara this is a deluxe mini, and they take just as long as a regular mascara. I have the entire Quint from Profusion. This is their Gemini palette, or Quint, I said. Keep it together. And these are the shades. We have a black, a deep purple, more. Oh, there's a mirror there. That's great. The it's more indigo, and you have a purple, a pale purple, lavenderish, and then a white, and they're all shimmer. Yeah, they're all maybe satin is the better word. But my plan is to use up as much as as much as I can in this quint. The Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in Kristen. This is brand new. I'm pretty good about lip products, like in year-long projects. I'm really good about that. And this one, I was able to, when Random did it, I was able to get different colors. This one is from CoverGirl. It was during their Star Wars collab. In number 50. But it's this really pretty purple. Like, ugh. I love that. It's, you know, a purpley berry, so, so pretty on me. So I'm excited to use that. Let's see. I have two primers. Most of my primers are minis. This is the Porefessional from Benefit. And then I have this actual full-size one. It's 0.6 fluid ounces from AOA Studio. It's their Wonder Skin Color Correcting Primer. It's the yellow primer. It's to illuminate light to medium skin. 
So I bought it. I need to use it. So I have two primers. This is the other mascara from Maybelline. This is the Falsies Push Up Angel. I remember when this came out, I bought it and I never used it. And it looks like this, the wand is like a Clinique mascara. There's a green wand from a Clinique one. A roller ball from Taylor Swift and Wonderstruck. I don't like roller balls, but we will get through this. I'm going to depot it. From Wet n Wild, their Liquid Cat Suit, Liquid Eyeshadow, and Gold Deluxe. Just got this. But that's what it looks like. So I think that will be really pretty on the eye to add a little element. From Chella, this is their Ivory Lace Highlighter. Guess it would be nice if I showed you. But that's what it looks like. So you can use it to highlight under the brow bone. I think it would be nice in the waterline as well. From Star Looks, this is a gem pencil in Amethyst. I know it's very little, but a little goes a long way. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I really love it. They're really nice and soft, but they give a really nice glittery payoff without having to wait for a liquid liner to dry. From the Balm, this is their Balm Desert Bronzer Blush in Take a Dip, I guess. That's what I have of that. I'm struggling with bronzers right now. From Stila, their Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's a mini. Still in the packaging. And I've never tried Stila before. This is a single from Shop Miss A. This is their A2O Lab. This is in the color P8. It is just a shimmery satiny metallic-y blue that's what it looks like it's very pretty but i would at least like to hit pan on that i have a blush that i depotted from an ulta palette this is in infatuation i lost a little bit during the depotting process but i would like to work through these blushes that I own. Let's see. I have one nail polish in this challenge. This is from Fresh Paint in the color Delicious. It's just a really nice red, and that's where I started. So I've used it before. But in a year, I hope to have at least half of it gone. Then from out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero collab glow kit. I am choosing Forever Young, which is this middle one at the top. That's what it looks like right there. Let's find a little space on me. There we go above the lipstick. So that's it right there. It's going to be very pretty because I feel these were, you know, a Nicole shade and we are in the similar color wheel all right you guys so that was all 24 of my items i hope you enjoyed if you want to join the challenge please do it's open to everyone it's such a different kind of project pan where you were choosing random items. All right, you guys, so that was all 24 of my items for this project pan. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well. Peace. <laughs>